So today we are going to create a patient symptom checker website using ChatGTP. Go to ChatGTP and type the following command. Using HTML, JavaScript and CSS, create a symptom checker for patients, where patients enter their symptoms and a diagnosis is given to them. As you can see ChatGTP is generating the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript codes for us. ChatGTP has used an API for this project but we don't want to use an API. Let us tell ChatGTP to update the code by using an array of symptoms and diagnoses. If we had an API, we could as well link it into our project but that will be for the next video. As you can see ChatGTP is updating our code and generating new files without an API needed. Now let us proceed and tell ChatGTP to link the JavaScript, HTML, and CSS pages for us. ChatGTP has done combining the three files for us. First of all, let us create the files that will store HTML, JavaScript, and CSS code. Now let us save the codes in their respective files. Copy the HTML code into the HTML file created and save. Copy the JavaScript code and CSS codes in their respective files and save. Let us now try loading our website and see how it looks. As you can see, this is our symptom checker. Let us try some symptoms and see the diagnosis. You can try to make it complex by telling ChatGTP to add more queries about diseases. Let us tell ChatGTP to make it a little more beautiful with Bootstrap 4 and CSS. We need something nice. See, it is updating the CSS file with Bootstrap 4. Now let us ask ChatGTP to help us link Bootstrap to our project. Boom! It has shown us how to link. Now let us copy this code into our HTML file and save. Let us try again and see the new look. As you can see, this is our updated website with some nice colors. Let us try some symptoms. You can make this complex by telling ChatGTP to create more pages and make a full hospital website with a symptom checker. Thanks for watching. Follow for more.